Yo, what is going on guys? It's Helvetica once again. Isn't that surprising? I might be reaching forward to pause the camera every now and then because my editing software has decided to completely stop working. So yeah, that's how I'm going to be doing this video. You know, a little reach and pause action. No problem. But we got the new ring light. We got the tripod. We got the little microphone. You know, we're coming in hot here with some new products to keep the videos fresh. And then something like that happens. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little Novo X, or not a Novo X, a Novo 4 review and comparing it to the Novo X as I have both of them here. So let's get right to it. The first thing that you will notice with the Novo 4 is it comes in multiple different colors, just like the Novo X did, which is basically the Novo 3. Um, and looking at them, they pretty much look identical. Now, the Nova 4 is a little taller, and although the Nova 4 looks like it has a bigger screen when both screens are off side by side, that is just an illusion. Um, all that extra space is just like black glass or something, or plastic. So I don't know why they did that, just to make it look bigger, maybe, possibly. The biggest thing, and the first thing you'll probably notice though, is there is this giant circle on the front of the device. And you look at that and you go, what the heck is this giant piece of bulging plastic sticking off my device? Why is it there? What does it do? And do I need it? Well, it's actually a little airflow regulator. So when it's in the middle position, that's full airflow, you can turn it left or right and adjust the airflow. There's three little holes if you look inside there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, probably not. So you look inside there, there's three little holes. You just turn it left and right to adjust the airflow. That's pretty much it. You kind of hear it there lower down when I close it. Now, if you're coming from a puff or a pop or something like that, this is pretty much perfect for you because that's what I came from. I used to love pops, started with a jewel, messed up, didn't quit quick enough, and finally moved on to this beast. Well, the Novo 3 first. But yeah, they're both zero or uh, they're both one to 25 watts. Actually, the Novo 4 is five to 25 watts. Same thing, no one's gonna be puffing on two watts or five watts. I don't know why they even made it go so low in the first place. Probably like, yeah, like, let's just make it five because when you have it on one, it's probably not good for the juice, I would imagine. But neither is 25. I mean, let's be honest here. The one thing I will say about these devices that I've noticed, if we wanna talk about any like little problems or any cons or complaints that I might have about them, the wattage will randomly adjust in my pocket. If I set it to 10, I go to take a hit like an hour later or whatever. Um, it might be set to 17 or 20 or 22 or maybe even four. I don't know how this happens because you have to click the button twice and then you can select through by clicking the button more to choose what wattage you want it on. So I don't know how it changes. Could be a glitch, could be clicking the button in my pocket. But yeah, the, my last one lasted me about six months before it doesn't hit anymore. I think the airflow sensors got messed up. That's another thing I want to comment on real quick. On this one, the airflow sensors or the airflow inlets, there's just one on this side and one on this side. They're tiny little holes, you can't see them. But when the pot is on, it sucks air from here and here. And I don't know if it's the same sensor design. I don't know if the same thing will happen to this, but seems like they may have changed up the design. So hopefully it lasts longer this time. This one still lasted me six months. They only cost 39 bucks. Um, sometimes they have sales for like 29. You can get them on sale on a little deal action. But yeah, um, I'm just going to name a couple of the other differences here or, you know, same things like the battery is 800 milliamps in both so it should last the same amount of time which it lasts me plenty sometimes two days or more without even charging it i'll forget to charge it until it's low like i said they both have the same half inch screen or 0 0.49 inch screen another big thing the novo 3 is or the novo x slash 3 is micro usb to charge the novo 4 is usb type c that new modern usb life so smock's not messing around guys Another one of the bigger things is the pods on them are completely different. They're non-swappable, interchangeable, um, because on the new pods, the way that you change the coil is you don't change the whole pod like on the Novo X or the Novo 3. You actually take the coil. There's a coil in the middle, pinch here, coil comes out, you put, take your new coil and you pop it in. You can do it with vape juice in there like I just did. This is a full pod. This coil is a little old. That's why the juice is that color. but. Yeah, the major differences is the airflow adjuster, you know, the pod difference, you change the coil, keep the pod, and the size along with the charging port on it. So yeah, other than that, same device, a little bit better, honestly. I mean, I was just going to go back and buy another Novo X, Novo 3, um, but then I saw they had this in stock and I was like, oh, let me cop it. It's the same price as the other one was. So yeah, like I said, my opinion, good device. Um, smooth hit they have mesh pod or mesh coils and also mouth to lung coils 
do a little look up on Google to see what that means. Um, I'm still not exactly sure what the difference is. I just know that they hit a little bit different. The one that's mouth to lung, obviously you put the hit in your mouth, then put it to your lung. The other one you're supposed to just straight inhale to your lungs. So I guess one feels like more like a cigarette. That would be the meshed one, not the mouth to lung. I don't know, look it up. I'm not 100% sure. I like the mouth to lung coils. That's what I've got in here and it works pretty good for me, so. Final thing I'm gonna say is they advertise that this has some sort of leak detection or leak protection so it won't leak. It's like modern leak technology or whatever, leak proof technology. It still leaks. Maybe not as much as the Novo 3, the Novo X, but I mean, you'll pull this out after, I don't know, a day and there'll be a little bit of liquid in there and you know, you gotta blow inside the device, take a shirt or whatever napkin, clean it out and take a napkin and wipe off the pod. But I think that's common with any device like this that has a pod, I think you're going to get a little bit of leakage either way. It's kind of inevitable. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, got the new mic. Hopefully the audio is okay. If not, I'll go back to using the other audio setup I had, or I'll just get a proper microphone. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.